welcome to Kelly Baker Browse. Kelly will be right with you. My name is Kelly, also known as Kelly Baker Browse. That is the name that my friends and Instagrammers and clients named me. Makeup and brows and hair and any kind of thing that has to do with art is just what I love. Brows are definitely the focal point of your face and it's the one thing that you look at first when you meet someone and it's really important to have a nice shape to frame your face and to make you look proportionate. There is a fun quote that's going around that says, I make brow contact before I make eye contact. I'm gonna go ahead and wax her. So now I'm tweezing Maya's brows and now I'm gonna go all along the bottom of her brow and on the top of her brow. So now her brows are nicely shaped and we're gonna go ahead and use my products to fill them in to give them a little bit more definition. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my brown powder and my angle brush and we're gonna fill in her brows just a little bit. So what really helped me with my Instagram growth was posting before and after pictures. And that's actually something that I've been doing for years. And then I'd show my clients and then back in the day would post it on Yelp. And then once I figured out how to use Instagram, I started posting before and after pictures on Instagram. And no one was really doing that. And four years later, if you look up brows on Instagram, I mean millions and tons and tons of photos of before and afters. It's really, really cool what we've accomplished and where brows have grown. So I am about to officially start my own brow tour. I've done about three shows with convention centers like um, IMAX or Fame Expo, and uh, we just decided to do it on our own. Um, and I basically tell everyone everything that I do, from the products that I use to how to talk to a client, to how to shape, how to trim, all of my tips. I just want people to be happy. So my gift is brows, who knew? Well, of course my favorite part about doing brows is handing my client a mirror and letting them see the after. Um, a lot of times they will say, I love you, oh my God, I've never thought I could have brows like this. But one in particular story that I'll always remember is a young girl that had come in with her mom and her sister and she had really, really thick brows and they were very different and it was nothing that I had actually worked on before. They were really thick and they grew straight up all the way across. And when she sat in my chair, I thought, how am I gonna shape her brows? Like I've never, done this, but of course I knew I had to and I had to just make it happen. And when I gave her the mirror, she started crying and then her mom started crying and her sister started crying and they said, thank you so much. She has been bullied her whole life on, on how big and thick her brows are and how different they are. And she's actually tried to commit suicide twice because of it. And you know, of course that broke my heart. And I was like, I told my front desk, like her brows are free. She can have every product we own. Like whenever you want to come in, it's on the house. You know, if that kind of confidence comes from just shaping someone's brows, that's what I'm here for. I've been able to take a passion and something that I love and turn it into a career. And from that, it's turned into giving people confidence and making them feel good about themselves. So it's, it's not even really about brows anymore. I get more joy in just having fun with people and making them feel pretty and feel good about themselves. And it's a, it's a pretty amazing thing. 